sketch the graph of the following. f of x is equal to 1.5x squared minus 9x plus 7.5. We're going to follow the same basic process as we did for when the function was in the vertex form. We're just going to use slightly different techniques. So first thing we do is we answer does it open up or down? All right, so this parabola opens up since a is positive. Now we find the vertex. Now here's where things are different. Oh no, we usually found the... Um... Yeah, let's find the vertex. Okay, the vertex. All right, so we would say x is equal to, or well, the x-coordinate of the vertex is negative b over 2a, and so let's see, that would be positive 3, right? 9 divided by, well, 2 times 1.5 is 3, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. The y-coordinate of the vertex would be f of 3, which would be 1.5 by 3 squared minus 9 times 3 plus 7.5. All right, let me calculate that. We got some decimals in there, so I'm going to use the calculator. 1.5 by 3 squared minus 9 by 3 plus 7.5 is negative 6. So then the vertex is 3, negative 6. Now, since the parabola opens up, this is a minimum point. All right, the intercepts. All right, the vertical intercept, f of 0 would be 7.5, right? 1.5 by 0 squared minus 9 by 0 plus 7.5, that's 7.5. So I've got 0, 7.5. And the horizontal intercepts, I'd have 1.5x squared minus 9x plus 7.5 equals 0. All right, so here we would apply the quadratic formula, and x would equal, let's see, opposite of negative 9, plus or minus the square root of negative 9 squared minus 4 by 1.5 by 7.5 over 2 times 1.5. So that would be 9 plus or minus the square root of 81. Now 4 times 1.5 times 7, well let's just use the calculator here. We would have 81 minus 4 by 1.5 by 7.5. That's 36. So we have 80, so the whole under the radical is a 36. And 2 times 1.5 is 3. So that's 9 plus or minus 6 over 3. So x is 9 minus 6 over 3, which is 3 over 3, which is 1. And x is equal to 9 plus 6 over 3. That's 15 over 3, which is 5. So my vertical intercepts, I'm sorry, my horizontal intercepts are 1, 0, and 5, 0. All right, putting that all together. The vertex is 3, negative 6. The vertical intercept is 7.5. Remember the symmetry of the curve. So if we have 0, 7.5, and we have the axis of symmetry at x equals 3, then we would have 6, 7.5. Sorry about that. I have the horizontal intercepts at 1, 0, and 5, 0. And notice that they are symmetric about the axis of symmetry as well. And so now we can draw the curve through those points. All right, so there's our curve. f of x is 1.5x squared minus 9x plus 7.5. So here's another one. f of x is negative 0.25x squared minus 3x minus 15. 
All right, so the first thing I would note is that it opens down because A is negative. Let's find the vertex. The x coordinate of the vertex would be negative B over 2A. So let's see, we have three negatives, so I know it's going to be negative. And 3 divided by 0.5, well, that's a 0.25 there. Is going to give me 6. So negative 6 is the x coordinate of the vertex. Then the y coordinate of the vertex would be f of negative 6. So negative 0.25 by negative 6 squared minus 3 by negative 6 minus 15. Calculator time. Negative 0.25 by negative 6 squared mi minus 3. 3 by negative 6 minus 15. It's negative 6. So the vertex is negative 6, negative 6. Vertical intercept, f of 0 is negative 15. If we substitute 0, we would have negative 15. So we have 0, negative 15 as the vertical intercept. Horizontal intercepts, negative 0.25x squared minus 3x minus 15 is equal to 0. Quadratic formula, x is equal to opposite of negative 3 plus or minus the square root, negative 3 squared minus 4 by negative 0.25 by negative 15 over... 2 by negative 0.25. So that would be 3 plus or minus, and let's calculate what's under that square root. We would have negative 3 squared minus 4 by negative 0.25 by negative 15. So we have plus or minus the square root of negative 6 over negative 0.5. Now, we have to be careful here. Square root of negative 6 is not a real number. So what that tells me is the function has no horizontal intercepts. Plotting what we have. Negative 6, negative 6 is the vertex, and that's the highest point on the curve. All right, the vertex is the highest point. Now, we know that f of 0 is negative 15, and using the symmetry of the curve, we would have negative 12, negative 15. Uh, I plotted it at 13. negative 15 and negative 12, negative 15. All right, and so now if you wanted to, you could try and find some other point on the curve. So I don't know, how about if x is negative 4? If x is negative 4, we would have negative 0.25 by negative 4 square minus 3 by negative 4 minus 15. So we have negative 4, negative 7. So we found that f of negative 4 is negative 7. So then we have the ordered pair negative 4, negative 7. Negative 4, negative 7. And then by symmetry, we would have negative 8, negative 7. All right, so there's some more points to help us draw the curve, and it should look roughly like that.